In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and use UI date picker. And I have an empty Xcode project created with only one view controller. And I will start by embedding this view controller into navigation controller. So I'll go to editor, embed in navigation controller. We'll resize it to iPhone 4 inch and we'll bring this to closer together. It's not necessarily to do it, to use a UI date picker, but I just needed this navigation item so I can set a title, something like uh, display dates and a button uh, in the top right corner. So in my objects library, I will look for button item and we'll uh, take the bar button item, drag and drop it to the right top corner here. And um, I will change its title to um, display like this. Uh, okay, so uh, let's uh, go back to our uh, objects library and type picker. We'll have two views here, date picker and picker view. So we want to use date picker. So I'll grab this date picker, drag and position it like this here. And to display dates, I will use labels. And because I want to show you how to display dates in different formats, I will need a um, uh, number of labels. So I'll look for label, drag and drop it here like this, reposition it, and then do command D to duplicate it, position it, command D again, and command D again, I think let's, uh, let's have four different examples. Okay, so we have a button, we have date picker, and we have a few uh, labels to display our results. So let's select a uh, date picker. And uh, let's actually hide the left side panel, we don't need it. And open uh, our let's select view controller and open it in assistant editor. Uh, so that we have our custom class selected here. And now let's uh, create a few outlets. We will select the date picker and uh, we'll hold control button, click on date picker, drag and drop it to my um, source code here. And I will give it the name my date picker. And we create outlets so that we can interact with this date picker. And um, because I want to set uh, these labels with different values, I'll need to create an outlet for each of these labels as well. So uh, for the label one, I'll just create label one. Label two will be just the same. Label two. Label three will be label three. Three and label four will be label four label four. Okay, so we have uh, four outlets for each label. Okay, and a button because we want user to click on this button um, and um, display different and populate these labels with different date formats. So I will, um, I will select the button, hold control, uh, keep the button on my keyboard, click, drag and drop it here. And from the connection, I'll choose action. And I'll give it a name, um, display button tap, something like this. Okay, so when user taps display button, this function will be called. Um, let's uh, select now date picker and open the right side panel if it's not open and under attributes inspector, we can see some of the attributes of this date picker. For example, this date picker, uh, we can uh, set different modes. It can be time, it can display time only, it can display date only, or it can display date and time, for example. So let's choose um, a date and time and run this example to see how it looks. Okay, our application is up and running and I see date picker with a today a date and time selected. And if I choose, for example, different date, I see that we have a month and a day 
and the hour and the minute, so date and time format works. We can uh, choose a different mode for our uh, date picker. For example, instead of date and time, we can choose date only. And let's uh, run quickly this example and see how date only mode looks like. Okay, and uh, with the date only, we have a month, day of the month, and then a year displayed only. So let's continue working with this date, for example. And if you look uh, down uh, there, you can uh, choose a different locale by default. It's set to a, a default, uh, which will be the country this mobile application is uh, starting on. But you can set a different country because for that country, um, the date and time format might be different. And we have a time interval. For example, if you're using a date and time displayed, then maybe you need your time to be um, every 30 minutes. Let's, for example, demonstrate how it looks. I'll choose 30 minutes for time interval. And for the mode, I will choose date and time. And I'll stop and run this example to see how it looks. Time interval will be very helpful for those applications that are used to schedule uh, a booking, for example, uh, booking to the doctor. And uh, let's see, we have um, minutes here. So we have hours and we have minutes. And for the minutes, we have time interval every 30 minutes. So if I would choose here uh, 15, the time interval will be every 15 minutes. Okay, and then we can set some of the constraints. For example, minimum date is not set, but I could set a constraint like start with this minimum date and then end with the maximum date, like limit uh, to 2000, year 2037. I won't do that. Let's look how, for example, minimum date looks like. Let's uh, change the uh, mode to a date and time interval is uh, not um, necessary to change because um, the mode is set to date only. So let's run this example now. Okay, now we have months, date, and year. And our minimum date for the year is set to 90, 1970. So let me scroll down. Even though I can scroll and see uh, years like 1951, if I release my um, pointer now, it automatically sets to January 1, 1970. I can choose 71, but I cannot go any um, to any earlier year because the minimum is set. 1970. Um, okay, so um, let's learn how to grab this date from UI date picker and display it in different formats in our labels. We have set all outlets and uh, we have set an action for the button so we can easily um, we can easily uh, get the date and display it in one of the labels. And we will start it with um, label one, which will display the date in a long format as it is. So for example, let's uh, reference our label one, label one, and I'll put dot, and I'm waiting for, oh, it's label one text equals, and then I will reference to an S date formatter dot localized uh, string from date. This is what we need to read the date. And uh, for the date, we will um, use our my date picker, the date picker object that we have here, my date picker to, to read the currently selected by user date. So that will be my date picker. For the date style, we will need, for, we will need to reference an, a, an S date formatter style. So if I click here and as date for matter style and then click uh, put dot so I can choose uh, from uh, different styles available. I can display full style, for example, um, and for the time style and as date for matter style, let's choose a different format, um, something like medium or let's choose short. Let's have a look how uh, time style looks when it is short. And uh, let's now run this application to see how it looks for our label one. I'll stop and run. 
Okay, so it's August 28, uh, 2015 selected. I'll click on display button. And I have my date, I have my label one set to Friday, August 28, 2015 at uh, 5 p.m. selected. Okay, so works uh, well. Let's now uh, display a um, different format. So uh, for to display, to be able to control time format and date format, there is an object that we can use. It's called an as date formatter, but uh, we will need to instantiate a new version of it, a new instance of it. So I'll use, for example, let um, formatter equals an as date formatter. So I'll create a new instance of it, and then I can um, I can set to this formatter different uh, date um, uh, formats. Let's, for example, um, formatter date format uh, equals to, and then um, some format, for example, will display um, a month, and then a day, and then a year, like this. And we will set this value to our label text equals for matter string from date and then we need currently selected date which we read from my date picker date like this let's run this example to see how it looks and then I will walk you through what this um, characters actually mean so I will stop it and run Okay, August 28 is selected. I will tap on display button. And now I have two labels updated. First is a longer version of my date. And the second one is in the format that I've created. MMMM for the months, uh, lowercase d for date, and then uh, year, which is going to be four digits. Okay, so what do these um, letters mean? What you can create different date formats and, and time formats. For example, I will open my browser and here in iOS uh, developer library, if you look for date formatters, uh, which is a documentation, uh, if you scroll down a little bit here um, under the section use format strings to specify custom formats, you'll find um, what different OS versions um, are used what different OS versions use, what kind of format. And the latest here is OS 10 and for iOS 7. So if I click on this uh, documentation link, it will take me to another page, unicode.org. And here we have uh, the documentation on an explanation for each of this uh, letter. The date pattern is a string of characters in which specific substrings of characters are replaced with date and time data from a calendar when formatting. So if you scroll down a little bit, you will see a very detailed table for each of this um, character. Okay, so and this is, here is the summary. For example, if I wanted to display time um, like hour and minute and uh, whether it's PM or AM, I would use uh, this format, H for hour, MM for minutes, and then A, lowercase a, to display PM or AM. And here we go, here's another pattern, another pattern, and another pattern. So uh, remember the um, link where you need to look, I will include it into the description of this video, so you will need to look for date formatters, and under date formatters, you can look for the version, which is uh, like uh, now it's uh, iOS 9 is about to be released, but the um, documentation has iOS 7. So I guess iOS 9 is going to use just the same pattern. Okay, uh, so let's take it down and um, create a different format for our label 3, for example. So we will go uh, formatter date format equals and let's create just a little bit different so for the uh, months we will use a shorter version which is for example 3m and then we will put uh, day and then for the year we will use uh, a longer version and then again label 3 
text equals formatter dot string from date my date picker date okay and for on uh, the last label let's choose yet a different format so i'll go to formatter date format equals and let's choose let's display um let's display day of the week and day of the week is uh four is and then i will put comma and then i'll choose year and like this for the months and like this for the day okay and now i will reference my label for date label for text equals uh, formatter string from date and for the date i'll reference my date picker date um okay and let's run this example now to see how this formats look like okay so our application is up and running we have august 28 selected hit on display button and here we go the longer version uh, and then the three different versions which we formatted and the last one has uh, friday which is day of the week so if i select for example today's friday what is going to be um tomorrow august 29th hit display tomorrow is going to be saturday and here we have different um a date currently select the date in a different format okay that was a ui date picker and i hope this video was helpful to you